Let's, di let's dive into the fascinating world application of modular arithmetic. You might be wondering, what's the deal with this modular thing? Well, let's explore it like a, 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 like a mathematical that not only challenges our traditional understanding of numbers, but also open up a whole new realm of applications, whether you enter cryptography, computer science, or just curious about the math that hides behind the scenes. Modular arithmetic is about to take you on a thrilling journey so What should we do to celebrate it? But I think we cannot celebrate it with him. Because right. his father is so strict. What did you buy him, my brother? But remember, his father would be angry if he knows that Nando still continue to eat. But that's the only person he likes. Don't worry, I have an idea. I could let me do before she got home. If I would get a dime every time she wanna go through my phone. And she might be the death of me, but I know I could never leave her alone. Now she might be my cocaine, she might be my rehab, and I ain't trying to hold it. I think it's better. What book is that? What book is that? The Deconstruction and Fragmentation. Oh. I think the, the content is better. Okay, this is a good one. Yeah. So, can we check if this book is valid? But how can we check it? How? Hmm. Oh. Are you still confused enough to identify one page that you will buy? Is it still accurate in catalog? Or you don't know how to find out and prove it? So guys, don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you how to prove or find the accurate of something. For example, this book. So to prove it, we are gonna find out the ISBN of this book and using this code. So, what is ISBN? Hmm, it is, that is a good, great question. So, ISBN is an international standard book number. It's a numerical, numeric commercial book identifier. The standard book number, ISBN, is a commercial system using 12 digit code numbers to identify the accuracy of catalog. And the ISBN you can find behind this book. So let's find out together to prove if this book is accurate of catalog or not. So now we're gonna use this ISBN of this book. Those are. Now she might be my cocaine. She might be my rehab. And I ain't trying to hold it. So, this is the ISBN of this book. It has 13 code digits. To prove this ISBN using this form. So, now questions. Which one that we will prove? to find out the current accuracy of catalog. That's the great question. So, we are gonna use this 12 code digit, this one, to find out this 
अकोरेंसी का तो और जा चेक कीजिए सो नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट यूज दिस वन सो नाउ वी आर गोना चेंज दिस नंबर दिस डिजिट वन डिजिट टू डिजिट थ्री विथ दिस ट्वेल्व डिजिट वन लेट्स फाइंड आउट We change D one with nine plus three multiply by seven and going up. And I know it's messed up, but I can't get enough for you. Don't matter what we say, don't matter all the things we do. If crazy is a place, then I hope they got space for two. The result it will be ten minus five equals five. So the result of this calculating is five. Therefore, the accuracy of the catalog of this book is one. Mm, yes. That's the method of checking the book if it is valid or not. Let's go one second. Let's pay. Yes, but wait because I will still calculate how much this book will cost. But I don't know if this calculator is real or not. Ah. Uh, Let me show you how to prove its authenticity. Wait, how? Oh. We all know that the application of modular arithmetic within the UPC of every commercial product around us in order to prove the validity of its product. The following is the formula to calculate the UPC validity in which the solution is drawn by the similarity of the 12th number within the product and calculation. D12 represents the 12th number within the UPC given to product. Then 10 minus the observation number given to UPC product. The first number multiplied by 3. Then plus the second number without any multiplication. Then plus the third number multiplied by 3. Then plus the fourth number without any multiplication. And so on. Then mod 10 according to the formula given for UPC. Let us put into the application the UPC within the product. The number of observation given within the UPC is 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 8, 8, 0, 9. And the last or the twelfth number is nine, and we are trying to prove the validity of the UPC by finding the number nine within the application. D twelve equal ten minus three multiplied by two plus zero plus three multiplied by zero plus zero plus three multiplied by zero plus 0, plus 3 multiplied by 2, plus 8, plus 3 multiplied by 8, plus 0, plus 3 multiplied by 9, then more to 10. D12 equal 10 minus 71. Mod ten. 
51 is the sum of the calculation above. Then mod to 10 equal 1. Then 10 minus 1 equal 9. Finally, we compare the solution by the calculation to the number given within the UPC, in which the both number are similar. Therefore, the UPC given within the product is valid. Oh, thank you. Now I'm sure that this calculator is free. Okay, let's go. We're going to free. We're going to buy this book. Okay, sure. So how about the payment? Are you going to pay cash or credit card? Ah no, I, I will pay through through card. Yes, if we're going to use cash card, but sure, sure. Man, she might be the death for me, but I wouldn't have it any other way. There's something wrong. Let me check it first. She might be my rehab. All credit cards, regardless of the bank has digits that can be found either on the back or at the front of the card. Usually, it has 13 to 16 digits. This is not just an ordinary card, but it also determines various of identifications, such as the bank of the card, the card holder, and many more. But aside from those mentioned, what is the importance of identifying these digits? Well, we can check the validity of the card so we can avoid incidents of fake card modus. But how? Well, simply by using the LAN algorithm. Beginning with the next letter or next to last and reading from right to left. Counting or highlighting the numbers alternately and adding all digits. However, two digits are counted as two digits. Lastly, using the mod 10 arithmetic, the sum of the digits must be congruent to zero, mod 10, in order to identify the card okay. as valid. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. It's, it's paid already. <laughs> so you should look and you're ready. <laughs> I know that today is your birthday, so I want to make sure someone give you books. But what about for that? My friend not give me a book. Really? His father give it to you, huh? I want to make sure that your friend give you a book or not. What kind of message is this? I don't understand anything. But I'm sure that no one will give me this. Okay, I will give you back. Mango, this is your phone. And I didn't find anything here. Just as message so this is your phone good luck for your birthday and happy birthday to my lord this is scripted message now i will translate with cryptology she said my 94 4 door 4 don't fire the day this is the very equivalent of this uh ship have text later and PFSSO from the alphabet. Now we can see in the alphabet A, B, C, and J, uh, G. The number of alphabet is 26. 
decrypt formula P equivalent C plus N mod O minus 26. This is a formula. The formula N equals 26 minus M. Where is M? M is the number of positions the letter is shifted. And M equals 4. 4 from the M. Now, 26 minus 4 equals 22. And then now we can go to find alphabet E. Where is the number of alphabet E? Is 5. 5 plus 22 from 22 from the 26 minus 4 equal 22. Uh, 22. Move 26. And 20. 5 plus 22 equal 27 minus 26 equal 1. 26 minus 20, uh, 27 minus 26 equal 1. Now we will already find the alphabet E. We go to alphabet F. Where is the na where is number of alphabet F? Is 6. Now, P equivalent 6 plus 22 move, move 26. 6 plus 22 equal 28 minus minus 26. Equal 28 8 minus 26 equal 2. We already find the, the alphabet F is a 2. And then we we go to find the alphabet S. What number in alphabet S? Alphabet number is alphabet S is 90. And then we can see here P equivalent 90 from the alphabet S plus 22 more 26. Now. 19 plus 22 equal 41 minus 26. 41 minus 26 equal 50. We will define the S, now the first S. The second, I think the second first, uh, second, second S, the same number. S, the alphabet, alphabet S, the number is 19. I think the same we can see here. And then we go to O. There is number alphabet the number O uh, the number from alphabet O e is a 50. Now I go to E equivalent 15 plus 22 move 26. And then 15 plus 22 equal 37 minus uh, 26 equal 11. We, we already find that. Don't matter what we say, don't matter all the things we do. So, that is our group example of how we apply different groups to modular, modular arithmetic in real life. We hope that you can learn about it and you must be aware of all the precautions by using of our knowledge. Be reminded that there is a lot of threat, therefore we need to be mindful so that we can avoid to those unreal or fakes that is present around us. Before we end this video, we would like to thank our dear teacher, Sir Jerome Valdez, for enlightening us and sharing us with his wisdom. And also for the, to the Canosian Seminary for letting us use their facility to make their video, to make this video possible. To all the people who contributed on making this video, thank you and may God bless us all.
I know it's messed up, but I can't get enough for you. 